What's up, everybody, guys? Welcome back to Miyamaru and Tachizei no Tutorial. So, today I'm gonna make it a uh, Beat Saber ish in Tachizei no, like this. First of all, I'm gonna break it down to make it. The first thing is physics calculation. Uh, as you can see, like uh, the Beat uh, Saber hit the box and the box uh, is going away. The uh, second one is like uh, iOS control controller because I can like. Uh, uh, control the stick like a beat saber uh, with iPhone. I need to like communicate uh, with iPhone to uh, laptop and also like uh, uh, iOS it has uh, some sensor value and I need to apply uh, <coughs> the sensor value to uh, the beat saber's rotation. Uh, do a basic calculation. So, I have a question for you guys. In Tachizeno, what are we supposed to use if you want to do physics calculation? <laughs> do you have any idea? Yes, Ballet Soluber. Ballet Soluber. This one. Uh, Ballet Soluber is a framework of the physics calculation. So, if you want to like uh, <coughs> uh, simulate physics calculation, uh, you need to click on this third button like this. So this torus uh, is falling down and uh, hit the this box. Okay, let's dive in. I'm gonna delete two. First of all, uh, I'm gonna make the stick of the uh, beat saber. Uh, this is a very simple step. I'm gonna add box. So I need to change the anchor uh, V to zero. So the pivot to the bottom. Next, I'm gonna transform, and I need to uh, change the scale. Uh, y is 4.5, and next is point soap because I wanna change the color and add the color. I think uh, 0.2 is the best. And the last node. And the next is so important. If you want to like a physics uh, simulation uh, in ballet solver. Uh, you don't need to use geometry comp as usual. We need to use actor comp. So if you like to use the uh, actor comp, you can uh, simulate uh, physics or like a you know like a gravity or stuff like that. And this is a mandatory. I need to change the uh, this setting, uh, continuous calculation detection. Uh, it is very uh, like a crucial uh, if you want to like apply something. Because like uh, yeah, as you can see, like uh, we can uh, you know keep uh, colliding uh, if you start uh, simulation. I need to click on that, and also I wanna uh, use the infinite mass, and I'm gonna add the PBL. Uh, I'm gonna use the PBL material, and I change the color to 0 0.1. Uh, metric is zero. Roughness is like. Around 0.7. Okay, this is like a yeah, you know the bottom uh, part. Uh, you can clip on that. And I wanna <clears throat> make the like a, a beam part. I also need to uh, change the uh, scale 0.8. And also here is uh, 50. And 0.5. You need to uh, copy this parameter and paste to, like translate y. And also like point soap because I want to change the color point and this time uh, this one is cool I want a more brighter so 2.5 so I'm gonna add uh, neural so and also don't forget you need to add actor not geometry comp. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, duplicate uh, this PBL material and uh, apply material. And I need to change the color to 0.4.5. Blue is one. I need to change the parameters. This one, continuous uh, collision detection. It can be more accurate than something like a collide something. something. I need to uh, change the transform minus 5 
also this one is minus five. I finished uh, making uh, like a bit safer. Okay, next uh, make the boxes. Uh, it's not one box, many boxes. To make multiple boxes, what are we gonna do? Copies up or replicator? Uh, as I did, I did it another like bullet solver tutorial. No, this time I'm gonna use the instancy. So I'm gonna add the box comp and scale is two and also null sub. This is also like a <clears throat> object that want to like simulate uh, in physics world. So I need to you know, actor and I need to change the uh, something like mass point one. Yeah, velocity is uh, the y uh, not that angle is one and the continuous detection is on and I'm gonna uh, make the uh, many uh, boxes by instancing actually I didn't know that I can do instancing with actor comp but it has uh, like a trap so I'll talk it, I'll, I'll talk it later to replicate, uh, to replicate the box, I'm gonna make a data that actor uh, refer. Uh, I'm gonna use noise job. Type is random. I need to three channel uh, to apply the X, Y, Z. To do that, I'm gonna change the name T parenthesis X, Y, Z. And I need to also uh, change the, <coughs> this one. Sample. And it has like uh, 600 samples. It's too many. And I need to like just um, 30. So I'm gonna add the mass up. And range equals 0 to 6. So also I'm gonna add the mass uh, chop. This is 0 to 1. I put the minus 30 here. And scope is TZ. I want the box to start uh, from the like more, <coughs> um, yeah, minus 30. And uh, the box uh, coming to like a beat uh, toward the uh, beat saver. And I can hit the uh, box uh, by stick. So that's why I did it. Eventually, I'm gonna add the uh, <coughs> nerve chop. And uh, let's go to the instancing page and click on the this toggle with instancing and I'm gonna drop it to the this one translate up tx ty this okay so you need to uh press the init uh button I don't know why but I can like uh, initialize the uh position so I can yeah create like that and also I want to like uh, change the color uh, by the box uh, by yeah, each box so to do that I also uh, add another like a noise chop and copy I'm gonna copy this parameter and paste it here I need to uh, change the sample uh, before do that and paste references and type is also random and after that, I'm gonna add the mass uh, chop and I'm gonna change the integer to saving so I can uh, create the, like a one zero one zero like a random barriers like a, yeah boolean barriers yeah and then I'm gonna add the rename rename chop and to this is all and then I'm gonna add mass chop and uh, uh connect to connect to line from here to here and i'm gonna switch the like the range uh not two uh one two zero like a like a rip uh the body r of the sample one is one but this is a zero i'm gonna use uh this value for uh blue so rename name is b and the last one is constant uh chop and change the <coughs> uh simple uh sample 
is also sample sample and the name is yeah, green and I'm gonna match I'm gonna match this <coughs> chop so I can use uh, make the out busy oh what okay so I need to change the uh, this parameter because it's too much also I'm gonna click a uh, right click on that and the copy parameter and paste it here I can arrange the <coughs> length of the samples I also change this parameter it's positive me I'll be Z no I'll Z B yeah I'm gonna go to the uh, this color operator I'm gonna drop it here and I'm gonna select the L R T B yes I can change the color, right? Like here. If you change the seed uh, in the noise, like noise chop, like I can like randomize uh, the values like this. If you see the like a uh, video I showed, this actor uh, I, like coming to like this way. So to do that, we need to add the force, force cup. Uh, this is one. Oh, someone. So it means I can add the uh, positive uh, positive Z force to these boxes. I'm gonna like uh, add the force to forces. And if you like, uh, uh, click uh, if you passed uh, the force, the box uh, coming to front uh, go forward. No, because. Uh, I don't start the physics simulation so if you want to do that I need to uh, start the bullet solver so I'm gonna split the uh, window this is for uh, <coughs> uh, click on the, uh, the parameters I'm gonna click uh, on right click on the, this value and the copy parameter and paste it here so I can uh, add the uh, force when I start the physics simulation, like this one, okay? And this time, I don't need to uh, gravity, so I'm going to change the value to zero, so if you click on that, Okay, base settings is okay, but its next step is really, really important. You need to check it. <coughs> if you want to uh, move the boxes uh, while running a physics simulation, what are we gonna do? So you might think uh, change the parameters of this job is okay. Let's do that and start uh, this simulation and press uh, add this parameter or this add parameter but it doesn't change why is that? I don't know why but it's like a, it is like a framework of the body solver so if you like initialize a body solver we can change the like a position like this so if you want to uh, change the movement in one time, so it is not enough to mm, change the parameter in the data, like a chop that I use for instancing. It is kind of like an initial position. What I'm gonna do is use the, this barret to feed the chop. I know it's kind of weird. But it's very important and very useful. I'm gonna add the palette through <coughs> chop. And then I'm gonna drop uh, this comp to here. I can get uh, any information. Also, I'm gonna click on the collision info. And uh, I'm gonna add the limit. And type is loop. And minimum is minus 30. And maximum is 10. And also scope 
a t e r t z and also i'm gonna add another limit limit chop and then loop minus 20 and the maximum is 20 and the scope is dx and ty and the loop and then rename it this is feedback so i'm gonna add i'm gonna drop uh, feedback to feedback job so there you go so we'll start so as you can see uh, this box is like a repeat uh, from the minus 30 to 10 and if you uh, hit the 10 the z uh, they go back to minus 30 uh, this is a, like a red feedback job so it is very useful right so next i'm gonna talk about a collision if it, uh, the boxes i uh, hit the something i want to change the color uh, to do that i need to know uh, the in information of the collision so but don't worry it's very easy because i can get the, like a collision information this colliding I'm gonna select uh, job is part solver job. I'm gonna select uh, this one colliding, and also I'm gonna add uh, mass and <clears throat> connect it to here. And I'm gonna change the combined jobs to add and then reconnect this one. If the box uh, hits uh, something, I'm gonna change the green value like this one okay hit and turn to clean if you hit the box turn to clean and I'm gonna also add the PV like 2.3 roughness is 0.3 <coughs> you can change it to whatever you want okay uh, this is uh, like a looping physics uh, boxes Okay, next. Next is iOS controller. What are you gonna use? 